if you'd have told me at the start of a season we'd be on the cusp of European football in our first season in La Liga, I would not have believed you. But that is exactly what we are right now. Hello and welcome back to The Real Deal. Today we have got two high profile fixtures for you. Malaga at home and then Atletico Madrid away. Things have been going absolutely incredibly well since you were last here. So I will show you through that now. Uh, we've played four games since you were last here and we have won all four of those games. Last time you were here, a 4 all draw with Bilbao and then the 2-1 win over Real Sociedad. We then came up against Lugo, uh, a decent 3-1 victory there. Fibas, Lozano and Pinto getting the goals. Getafe up next. We lost 1-0 to them earlier on in the season and we returned the favour, beating them 1-0 this time. Can't tell what your name is scoring the goal. We then had a remarkable 3-1 win over Seville. Anthony Lozano, having not scored for ages, picked up a hat-trick. In fact, he actually scored in the Lugo game, didn't he? Before that, hadn't scored for ages, picked himself up a hat-trick in that game, which is fantastic. And then in the game we just played against Coruña, half-time, we were through the up, had a bit of a scare in the second half as they scored two, but we managed to overcome them 3-2. 12 points won from 12 available means that we now sit eighth in the table which is pretty decent we're top of the form chart as well if we go looking by form uh we're first only barcelona is sitting behind us in the form chart apparently they've won five games as well but we're slightly ahead of them maybe more goals scored i don't know but as you can see eighth in the table right now uh four points off atletico madrid and seventh place depending on the winner of the spanish cup the copa del rey will get a european place so if like say barcelona or real madrid win it whoever comes seventh will then get the European uh, Europa League place. So, we're on the cusp of European football. We're only six points off those automatic places, actually. And actually, only seven points off Champions League. So, if things really start to hot up toward the end of the season and we really start to find some form, Champions League isn't actually off the cards in our first season in the La Liga. The only slight negative is that uh, Raul de Thomas is kind of asking to leave because he wants a new contract. And I said no. Five people agree with him, which is a little bit annoying, especially as of the team leader. So we may have to mitigate that at some point by offering a new contract. But I swear we only offered him because uh, we only gave him a new contract recently. Um, when did this new contract begin? It started at the start of this season, this new contract that we gave him because he, was, he wanted one. So I'm a little bit annoyed that he's already after another one. So that's why I said no to him. We'll try and mitigate that for now. But uh, if it starts to become a problem, we'll either offer him a new one or sell him. Other than that, though, things have been wonderful. So this is the line that we're going to use against Malaga today. This is the same form, a very similar lineup actually to the one we used against Seville and won 3-1 there. So Burke starts in goal, a back three of Pinto, Katic and George. Varela and Johansson on the wings. Johansson comes in today as David Cameron has a slight knock, although he's pretty fit still, so maybe we'll bring them on at some point. Fibas, Ruiz and Borja Fernandes start in that midfield with Lozano and De Thomas starting up front. Hopefully we have a repeat of that Seville game, which would be absolutely incredible. Right, kickoff is upon us then today we're at home to Malaga they beat us earlier on in the season 2-1 if you remember but uh, I think at home today and the recent form we're in I fancy our chances of winning today Malaga looking to win today obviously because the win today puts them into the Champions League places which is obviously very good for them uh, Johansson picked up a knock so we may have to bring on uh, David Cameron sooner than we thought although Borja Fernandes on the ball into Rauda Thomas has a shot saved by Roberto the goalkeeper Short distribution from Malaga and it's not very good. It's given straight back to us. Ruiz now can come forward. Fibas into De Thomas who's broken through. Lozano now through. Scores the goal on the nine minute mark. We are absolutely unstoppable at the moment. I am absolutely loving every second of this. We've just been playing some really good stuff recently and I'm really, really enjoying this Oviedo save. Another chance for us now as Varela puts a throw in to Ruiz who uh, plays it out to Varela back again into Fibas. Some lovely little passing play here. Lozano into De Thomas. How has he not finished that? How? Is that in protesting to me saying, give me a new contract or keep missing goals like that? Well, to be fair, mate, if you miss things like that, I'm more likely to release you rather than uh, give you a new contract. Now, Johansson's actually off the pitch now with his calf strain. Uh, so I think we will take him off very quickly. Uh, David Cameron will come on for him. In the meantime, uh, here come Malaga down this right-hand side of the pitch. Kiko on the ball into Rico. Rico now out to Rosales, who can... So they're playing it around quite nicely on this right-hand side, doing really good stuff. The cross comes in, 
hits the crossbar and is cleared behind for a corner. So Janssen comes off then, Cameron is on. I don't want to risk Janssen too much, he's a decent player. And I'd kind of like to swap those two around every now and again. I mean, this is a good result for us so far. As it stands right now, that no one else is playing, obviously, because that's just a rule and Spain can't play at the same time. As things stand, it would put us a point behind Malaga, Villarreal and Atletico, uh, which is a lie. It would put two, three points behind Villarreal and Malaga and a point behind Atletico. So I'm kind of being Atletico slip up somewhere and then we can beat them in the next game and go ahead of them, get into these European places. I genuinely can't believe how well we've done this season. I honestly thought... We were always going to be in a real tight relegation battle all season. I thought literally this season was going to be relentless for just losses after loss after loss. But no, we have been fantastic. And I think it's part, I think the formations have just worked really well. I think this five at the back system is working so well against these top sides. I mean, we've almost got another one there. I think next season, if we really recruit some top wing backs, this formation could actually work all the time for us. I think it could be a really, really strong formation if we just get maybe one or two better wing backs, maybe just a little bit more link play between the midfield and the strike force. Perhaps then we may actually have a, 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 a formation capable of really getting into that top seven comfortably. At the same time, though, I think this could just be newcomers look to the to the league and next season we drop down a little bit more, which is what I'm a bit scared of. Um, I don't think our reputation is going to... Oh, Varela going to be sent off now, which is not good. There we go. Varela, second yellow card. He has now been sent off. So... I reckon we bring De Thomas back. Lozano will stay up front on his own now. As we are one look, I do want to keep this defensive shape. Uh, Cordoba can kind of play wing back, uh, which I don't know if I'd like that or not. Williams, can you play there? No. Dorsch, no. Uh, it's going to have to be Cantel. No, it's going to have to be Cordoba. Or maybe Ruiz? No, it's, it, I'm trying everyone. It's got to be Cordoba who's going there, which is all right, I suppose. You, you can kind of play there. I want to keep this defensive shape for the final half hour or so. Hold on to this 1-0 lead that we've got. As I was saying, though, if we really strengthen in like wing-back positions, uh, make a little leap between the strikers and the, the midfield, I think this could be a, a decent formation. As I was saying, though, like I don't want to you know, go backwards next season. I don't know if our reputation is going to catch us up or not. Uh, in terms of the, the quality of players joining us and things like that. I mean, we could do really well, uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, it could just be luck, which I don't really know what it is quite yet, as we've... I mean, it, it, maybe it was luck, because Pedro Pinto just scored a, a disastrous own goal. I mean, if he hadn't done that, I really think we could have gone on to win this game, actually, uh, and shut out uh, Malaga, really, really just consolidated our defensive shape. But no, I think now... That's gone in. It's it's probably going to be a draw. And if Malaga actually get their act together, they could grab a winner. I don't know. There's not a lot of help for Lozano. Although Borja Fernandez puts the ball up to Lozano. Does he need the help? <sighs> nearly, nearly got the goal. Corner comes in then. Fibas feeds the corner in onto the head of a Malaga defender. Only as far as Borja Fernandez actually, who can uh, try and do something skillful like be tackled well not much action in these final 10 minutes or so which is so annoying because if we hadn't scored that own goal we would have won this game which is really frustrating Burke with the goal kick right at the end of the match unless Borja Fernandes can score a bit of a wonder goal here I think this is going to be it. he gets the ball into Fibas Fibas tackled and that is that Oviedo won Malaga won really really annoyed not to win that game especially as the it was an own goal a really stupid own goal to concede as well but at least we didn't lose. You're unlucky tonight there, boys. We'll, we'll leave them out. Wow, we should have won that. That's really, really got me down. We've been in superb form. And to, to only concede an own goal when Varela was sent off and down to 10 men, it does annoy me. It annoys me that Johansson's out for five to six weeks now. That is annoying as well. Varela banned for one match, obviously. So we'll issue a warning to him, which he accepts. Only like two days off until the Atletico game. So uh, we're going to rest everyone in the team and hopefully they'll all be fit enough for the Atletico game. Right, with barely any time to recover in between the two games, uh, players are actually looking relatively fresh. We have to swap the wing backs over though because injured and suspension. So Hannison comes off, Cameron, David Cameron comes on, Katunga is going to come on for Varela and Hackman's going to come on the bench for Johansson. Uh, I th uh, David Cameron's been kind of tired, but he, he's just come back from an injury. That's kind of why. We'll ignore it. Feebast is looking sort of tired as well, so we'll bring on Sunset uh, for him in that midfield. Other than that, I think we'll leave things as they were and get on today's game with Atletico. Kickoff is upon us then in Atletico Madrid's stadium right now. If any team can end our six-game unbeaten run, it will be Atletico Madrid. 
However, we did beat them 2-1 earlier on in the season. So we've got that in our locker as well. We've got that to our advantage. So I'm kind of hoping we can we can use that to our advantage and pick up a decent win today. We used this formation in that last win against uh, Atletico as well. So I'm kind of hoping like we can just do the same thing again. But as Atletico come forward, they've already scored the goal. So... I mean, okay. It's only three minutes in. There's a, a long way to go in this game still. I, I've got faith in the boys. Come on. Pavon on the ball for them now. Plays out towards Mario on that right-hand side. Into uh, Griezmann. Out to another man. And it's it's gone over the bar. They're, they're having some decent opportunities early on. I'll have you know, actually, we offered a contract to Pavon. Um, surprise, surprise. He went to Atletico instead of us, which is understandable. He was only going for like... Two, no, I can't think it was, I can't it was 1.5 or like 5 million. Either way, it was in our budget. We could get him uh, and we put the bid in. They accepted it uh, after we saw Atletico put the bid in, to be fair. Uh, but he, he somehow went for Atletico Madrid instead of us. Don't know why, but pff, question marks over that. But he's coming forward now, gives the ball away to Pedro Pinto, who again gives the ball straight back to Atletico. Saul on the ball, back to Pavon, the man we are just talking about, who uh, gets past all his men and puts it into Griezmann. He hit the post, but Vieto... Puts it in the back of a net on 14 minutes. And I think my start of episode sort of little tease about potential European football is is probably all but gone now. Again, here came Atletico looking dominant in today's game already. Griezmann makes it 3-0 in 16 minutes. Well, I don't understand how we've gone from like beating Malaga and, well, we drew with them, but essentially we're beating them until the own goal. To now being 3 0 down to Atletico in 16 minutes. That is poor. Sunset on the ball for us now, trying to build our first attack of the game. Really, we've not had a single shot yet, and they've already scored three goals. So that is kind of showing how poor we're playing today. Perhaps they're just more switched on, they're a bit more fitter. They've obviously got a lot more technical ability than our players. I mean, they're generally a better team, as Grisman. I mean, what is, what is actually going on here? Uh, just show some passion out there boys I mean we're not going to win this game now we're 4-0 down there's no way we're going to be scoring four past Atletico Madrid especially as they come forward again with purpose that shot luckily for us was off target well I've got to say the second half of the first half has been really really good for us it's been 0-0 since the uh, 20th minute so we've been playing pretty well this this second half it's it's just got to half time and we're 4-0 down that's where well, we're letting ourselves down a little bit I mean I do not understand what just happened I literally do not understand what has just happened there. First highlight of the second half looks like it's going towards Atletico, as as it should be, as it normally is, as it they've missed anyway, so it wasn't that important. Hey, we've had a few shots now. Hopefully, we're going to get ourselves back into this game uh, and really start. Let's let's go push forward, shall we? Um, let's get off counter. Let's go standard. Let's push the boats out. Let's go standard. I mean, I would swap wing backs, but there's, I mean, Do Hackman can't play there. No one else is particularly good. Dorsch can come on for Ruiz. Fibas can come on for Borja Fernandez, And we'll make those two changes right now. We may change something else later on. But I'm, I'm sort of lacking a bit of faith right now. Throw in for us now. David Cameron puts it in to, uh, well, their player basically. But we have one possession back. Sunset now on the ball into Lozano who gets tackled on the edge of the area. Oblak now with a chance to, uh, to distribute the ball. Although he's... <sighs> Thought Lozano was going to try and tackle him then. Pavon now on the ball for Atletico. Thomas Party plays it back to Mario. They're just passing it around like it's no business. Viet what a ball that is. What a ball that is. Griezmann hits the post again after the initial save from uh, from Burke Urza. And uh, Lozano can clear the resulting corner. Up to Raul de Thomas, actually, who has got some good footwork on him as he got past them. <sighs> he showed some good footwork to get past the defender there. And then his pass was absolutely atrocious. Griezmann tackled there by David Cameron. And now Sunset has got some good distribution on him. Didn't really use it too much there. Although, de Thomas, show some good footwork again, please, by getting past your men. Kind of does. Actually plays a, a good pass this time. Sunset now into the Thomas. Feebas, let's get a goal, boys. Feebas, back to David Cameron. Cameron, Dorsch, Dorsch. Saved by Oblak. We're starting to come into this game. We're starting to, to play well. It's just 67 minutes too late essentially. Corner for us then. Fibas puts it in. Cleared there only as far as the Thomas and Fibas had a chance to put it in again. Katic puts it in the back of the net for Oviedo. It's 4-1. The comeback is on boys. The comeback is on. Uh, push forward. The comeback is on. I'm not going to lie. If you ignore the first 20 minutes, the first 18 minutes of this game, 
we've been the better side. We've actually been amazing. Since since they scored their four goals, we actually played really well. We've really come back into this game, leveled the stats up and things like that. We've got a chance again now. Rowder Thomas puts it over. Honestly, if we just played well for that first 18 minutes, or that first 18 minutes didn't count, we'd have won this game. Corner now for Atletico, out to Pavon on the edge of the area. He gets tackled, and Pedro Pinto now can get rid of the ball. Can someone get rid of the ball? Katunga gets rid of it. Uh, Savage makes a clearance from their defence, but only goes as far as us. Uh, the ball forward to the Thomas wasn't great, though, and Atletico can sort of collect and redistribute the ball, play a nice little passing play through the middle of the park as they try and come forward again. The ball to Pavon wasn't the best, as Katunga gets tackling Lozano, now gets tackled and it's back to Atletico. I get too excited whenever we get on the ball in the midfield. I have to remember that the midfield isn't the box, basically. Sunset just gave away a foul, though. And for the second game in a row, we're looking like we're going to go down to 10 men. Sunset, second yellow card. He's off the pitch. Great. All right, two men in midfield then instead. We'll just see the game out for the next four minutes. As I say, we're not going to win it now, especially with only 10 men and because we considered four goals. But... It's been a very, very good performance for 70 minutes of this game. Fibas now on the ball, puts that into the area cleared though. And uh, Pavon can come forward. Again, a last-ditch chance now for, for Athletic. I say last-ditch chance. It's just a chance to get a fifth goal, basically. But he ran the ball off the pitch, so it's a goal kick. Not really sure what that highlight was for. That was a bit of a, a, bit of a pointless one. But as the clock ticks down, I, I, I can't stress this enough. For 70 minutes... We have been the better side today. For the first 20 minutes, though, we just didn't turn up. And that, that's cost us. I'm, I'm very, very confused about what to say. Um, put the result aside. It was a pleasing... But yeah, exactly. Because for the 70 minutes, it was amazing. Um, if we go to... If we click him, control A, everyone, right. Um, assertive. I'm not pleased. And... Oh, no. Everyone. Everyone. Is now kind of oh no! I should have just left it on the first ones. Confused and demotivated now. This is where the season derails. This is where we're going to lose every single game now for the rest of the season, and uh, we're going to end up being relegated because of it. Six games without losing, and then a four-one defeat to Atletico. Not the best. Next episode then, going to be pretty quick. Uh, Barcelona and Betis is going to be next episode. Just going to show you the Barcelona game. Regen day is also coming up very soon, so I'll show you that in the next episode. Hopefully we're going to get some decent regens coming through who can really try to start to bolster our first team. Right, well, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have done, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you next time for some more Real Deal action.